Hi, it's Jan from the mountain and welcome to my channel which is all about rustic life which in my case just happens to be on top of a mountain in a very rustic part of northern Tuscany. I've recently been trying to find a reference picture to help me paint a portrait of my daughter. If you check back on some of my other videos you'll see I've done one of my other daughter, myself and my son and I want to complete our family by finding a reference photograph. It's more for the outfit so that I can paint a picture of my daughter, my other daughter. This is the reference I used for my picture. It was for the outfit. I wanted a green outfit and I found that one. There's my portrait and in watercolour so I was quite pleased with the result. I'll keep on searching but I'm going to have a break for now on my lovely sofa that my neighbour kindly gave us. Can you see my knitting? I've started again. It's in my wool I've recently spun, spun especially to make this sweater and it's a big, big extra large job. What it is, is a sweater done in cable. It isn't an Aran sweater, although the yarn is a similar colour. I've got my pattern, I actually found it on Drops Design. You can't really see it, I'm really sorry. I have my patterns on my tablet. And it's extra large cable sweater knit in the round. It's going to take me absolutely ages, so I might just do a side project while I'm doing this one, just so I can finish something. Here I am in my studio and let's speed things up. I have got some thrifted items and some other things I'd like to share with you. Just wish tidying my studio was as fast as this in real life, but I'm nearly there. I've been recently to my favourite thrift shop and also I bought some items on Vinted. This is a Vinted item. I think I might have shown you this, I just can't remember. I want to use it to make my cosmetics. If you check back to one of my other videos you'll see that I made some lip balm and some um, body bars. But this is to make eye makeup and other coloured things to try out, which I've never done it before. Okay, from my favourite thrift shop, I got this Deruta urn, I suppose. It's hand painted and it only cost me 6 95 euros. I may or may not sell this, I haven't decided, but I can make a nice display with it in my home for now. I also found this didn't really know what it was. It was not very expensive and it is in fact a napkin holder. I do have some paper napkins here in my studio. I actually seem to have everything in my studio so I just want to show you how it would look with some napkins in. There. It's quite pretty, maybe with the plain coloured napkin instead of the floral. But I also thought I could use it when I'm painting because it would make perfect paintbrush holder as well. A cute one too. It's Greek. I didn't know much about them. I've seen them on Etsy. Now you can't read that, I'm really sorry, but it is Greek. And I just think it goes quite nicely with the urn. This is a block of cheese knives and a fork. They're, it's in very good condition. I have recently broken some cheese knives and I just spotted this and thought well if I don't get it 
I'm silly. So everything's in really good condition. It only cost me 6.95 euros and it's solid wood, solid wood block. And I think that the wood looks a bit marked, so I have this oil which is to restore wood and I think I've tried it on an old table in the past. I've had this quite a long time. I might try it on the bottom of the wood block, uh, the cheese knife block, just to see if it makes it look good. It's for light wood, so it's not going to stain it, but I'll show you in a future video how it turns out. Now, my dear friend that gave me the lovely leather sofa moved recently and wanted the house totally cleared out. There were plates on the wall. You can see this has got two holes in for hanging and it's very pretty. It's fruit and leaves on a dark background in the centre. There's also on the wall was this sun and moon plate. I absolutely love sun and moons. Again, the holes are there. It's a piece for the wall. It's actually by Antonio Monteforti Ceramics. I don't know anything about this brand, this maker, so I need to do some research. I do know is I absolutely adore sun and moons. I'm not one for hanging plates on my wall, um, so I might just create a display. I may sell it. Um, I'd like to hang on for it to it for a while because it is very pretty and I am partial, as I mentioned, to a sun and moon. Now also in my friend's place there was this candlestick. It's very fun and it's been made to look as though the wax has dripped all down and around the candlestick. It's quite chunky and just need to clean out the old candle residue there and I think that would be quite a fun piece to have on my table if I'm having dinner. So there it is. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. She wants to go out but it's really hot so I've had to close the door. This was also in my friend's house. It, it was more the holder than the seed or the nut which I if any of you know what kind of seed or nut this is please let me know below it the, the piece wasn't made to hold the seed but it looks quite good and quite striking so I may keep it like that it needs a good old wash though but it seems to go well with the other items now this was my very favorite piece from my visit to the thrift store it's another Deruta Vitali Deruta I just love the, the colour, it's in perfect condition, no chips, no cracks, it's probably reasonably modern. It was expensive for me, 9.15, but I just loved the very happy aspect of it with the hand painted flowers. So I'm keeping this one, I won't be putting it up anywhere for sale, not yet anyway, but I absolutely adore it, it's so bright and cheerful. I hope you enjoyed this. I have actually got some more items that I can show you all, oh, including this one, which 255. It's a blotter. Again, a bit partial to blotters, but this is, I think, an ornamental one because it hasn't got room to put blotting paper in. I saw it and it just matches perfectly with a little writing um, small case where you can actually have a pen inside, but the lining is a perfect match to the blotter. And I got them at two different places. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, um, but it's just ornamental on my writing desk at the moment. Well, it will be once I've taken the label off the blotter. Now I have moved on and I've actually found some ideas for my daughter's portrait so I am just getting my little sketchbook taking it into my studio and I'm just going to sketch out my idea for what I would like I'm still a little bit 
undecided on the outfit but this book I just do little sketches in every so often if I'm doing some practice I'll just start a new page and I've got the basic shape of the dresses and the neckline and what I actually want to put into the portrait with her so I am just going to have a little sketch and I think by the next video I'll have gone on to the next stage, well I hope I will, which will be transferring my sketch to paper. So I've just sped this up a little bit and I'm just having a quick sketch of the bodice, the shape of the sleeve and neckline and basically the position that I would like her to be in when um, I make the final portrait and there's a violin going to be in it but I actually changed my mind on the position of the violin since filming this video and so anyway you'll see it next time. Mozzarella my favourite time for a very very quick lunch. The weather has been exceptionally hot and I found it actually the first time in all my years of living here I found it almost unbearable, quite difficult, mainly because life has got in the way and I have been taking my daughter to and from um, work because she hasn't had her car so she's got it back now so um, things are getting a little bit easier. This is one of my favourite lunches. There's not anything to it at all, but I just absolutely love it. It's light and it's summery. I just slice some mozzarella, some, some beautiful tomatoes, and I just arrange them on a plate. It's my absolute favourite. Oh yes, I'll add olives. A drizzle of lovely olive oil. A splash of balsamic. Sprigs of basil, fresh from my balcony. I've added some pepper, I don't like a lot of salt. And my very favorite, nothing fancy with me, is just fizzy water. It's so thirst quenching. Eating it outside on my balcony is wonderful. It's an absolute dream, especially with my view. And if I have been particularly busy, then it always helps me to relax and recharge my batteries. Oh, it's my absolute favourite. Very simple. You know, sometimes the simplest things are the best. And it's all over far too quickly, as is this video, I'm afraid. So, if you liked it, please give me a like. Please subscribe to my channel, because that really motivates me and helps me to be able to create more content for you. And don't forget to ring that notification bell, so you'll be the first to hear about any of my new videos when they're released. And coming next time, a trip out to an absolutely amazing park near Florence for an outdoor concert, which was absolutely beautiful. So don't forget to join me. See you next time.